Welcome to this next video in our series for people inquiring about baptism. I wanted to speak briefly about the symbols in baptism. Now, I've alluded previously to water. Water is a very rich symbol, and it can point us in many different directions. The two most helpful, I find, are first to recall water's role in creation. Now, you might remember in Genesis how God's Spirit hovers over the waters, or you might think about farmers in drought-stricken areas who look to the sky in the hopes of rain, so that there might be new life in their pastures. Water brings life. It also recalls to us Christ's tomb. So we remember that Jesus died on the cross, he enters the tomb, and then on Easter morning, we experience Christ risen. In baptism, we are baptized into Christ's death, entombment, and resurrection to a new life. Which brings me, conveniently, to my next symbol, the candle. In the church, candles always point us to the idea that Christ is the light of the world. Christ is that which helps us see and understand better. In a baptism, we'll get a little candle and we'll light it and it'll be presented symbolically to the person being baptized because they now carry within them something of the light of Christ into the world. I hope that helps.